Hey guys, Gamer Zach here, and welcome to my top 10 PC horror games to watch in 2016. Horror games. They play with our psyche and mess with our minds as we try to uncover the mysteries behind them. Well, it's time you wait in anticipation and hope to get a glimpse of some horrifying poetry in motion. First, we have The Hum Abductions by Totwise Studios, a theme done to death in movies but much less common in video games. Alien Abductions is the theme we start with. In this first person horror, the game is meant to be story driven and acts as a prequel to the Hum game and as part of the Hum universe. You play Holly Sanders, a wife struggling to survive after her husband's disappearance months ago, leaving her alone with her son. Uncover the mysteries of what's going on while facing a terrifying revelation. Next we have Perception by The Deep End Games, a narrative horror where you play a blind woman playing a relentless game of hide and seek. You see using echolocation while uncovering clues and deciphering the secrets of what's known as the presence. You're forced to choose between making noise to reveal your surroundings, which in turn can call attention to yourself, heightening the tension. The game just about hit its goal on Kickstarter, so we'll see if they can pull this off. Then we have Routine by Lunar Software. Set on an abandoned moon base, this horror exploration game has you searching your environment to find out what happened to everyone. All we've seen is a trailer from 2013 which shows you running from a humanoid robot, but development is slow. There is the occasional update over at Lunar Software, and they have stated they're too far into development to change engines, so we can hope that the game becomes a reality, but nothing's for sure. Next up we have Darkwood by Acid Wizard Studio. This one sets itself apart by being a top-down surreal horror. This game has been in early access since 2014 and was originally planned for a 2015 release, but they still have much more to go. It's a procedurally generated roguelite that takes fear of the unknown to heart. It has received overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, so this one should be one to watch for its final release. And then we have Hunger by Tarsier Studios. Imagine a horror version of Little Big Planet. Here we have a suspenseful game where you play a girl named Six, and she tries her best to escape the strange world of the Moor. With what they're calling an unnerving dollhouse perspective, tactile controls, and characters with dark centers, the game is looking charmingly eerie. Tarsia was one of the developers of Little Big Planet, and it would be fascinating to see if they'll be able to take this dark turn. Next up, we have Draugen by Red Thread Games, a first person psychological horror adventure amongst the deep fjords and towering mountains of Norway. Set in the 1920s, Draugen delves into the deep, darkest secrets of a remote fishing community where everyone has mysteriously vanished. Gather clues, uncover memories, and survive the night. Will you discover what lies behind the mysteries or lose your way in the darkness once the last drops of kerosene in your lamp burn out? Then we have Allison Road by Lilith. Here we have a first person horror game that's a homage to the Silent Hill teaser. You have five nights to discover the whereabouts of your family and the mysteries of the house. It's interesting that the whole game takes place in such a small space and there is still room for improvement. The game went on to Kickstarter but then the campaign was cancelled as it was picked up by Team 17, an indie label. We'll have to wait and see if they can live up to all the hype. And then we have Pamela by NVYVE Studios. In a surprisingly beautiful looking title, we have a utopian sci-fi survival horror. The game is open world and has RPG-like progression where you explore an unforgiving paradise called Eden. The residents of the city have contracted some strange disease driving them mad as the city's artificial intelligence, Pamela, watches helplessly. The AI guides you in your journey and in controlling the city as you have to manage the power system if you want to keep the lights on at night. It's a fascinating setting with unconventional weaponry and technology, making this title an amazing one to watch. Next up we have Outlast 2 by Red Barrels. Announced in 2014, the sequel to the horrifying Asylum Survival is on its way. We can expect that gameplay would be improved from the current formula. No weapons, but you survive with stealth and free running while exploring a dark and creepy environment. But we haven't seen much yet. 
The new game will be set in a new location with different characters and we can hope that it lives up to its predecessor's reputation. Then we have Overkill's The Walking Dead by Overkill Software. Washington will fall. This is a first-person co-op zombie apocalypse game with elements of survival, role-playing and stealth. You play the role of a survivor who has to fend for themselves in the Walking Dead universe. The reveal trailer was simple but gut-wrenching, and we can expect a terrifyingly gruesome experience. But we haven't seen any gameplay, so I'd still be cautious. Finally, I'm going to mention a couple titles that have been mentioned, but there really isn't much on them, not even screenshots. I would say it's unlikely they'll release in 2016, but anything could happen and we should learn a lot more within the year. They are the new Call of Cthulhu game, which was announced in 2014, and Resident Evil 7, where we were told to stay tuned at the end of 2015. Now, most of these games should be releasing in 2016, but either way, you should keep an eye on developments to see if these games will be the nightmare fuel you're looking for, or simply fade into the night. And to wrap up, here's something I'd like to know. What's your favorite horror game so far, and why? Alright, that wraps up my top 10 PC horror games to watch in 2016. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, drop me a like or share it with your friends. The support is always appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.